Sports' Nathan Vickers. He continues our team coverage here tonight. Nathan? Boy, just in the last 15 minutes, the rain has really started here in Excelsior Springs. We're at a Casey's gas station, and you can see it starting to, like, kick up. You can see the wind uh, and the rain uh, uh, hitting the parking lot and the pavement here. This is the kind of weather people at Excelsior Springs have been dreading all day, especially after those storms knocked out power for several days last week and caused a lot of damage in town. It's my video. This was Brad Randall's view two weeks ago, watching winds ripping through his neighborhood as rain began pouring into his house. Basically, this half of the house all got wet and it all needs to be tore out and redone. He's one of several homes in the neighborhood with a tarp on his roof awaiting repairs. All the contractor schedules are so backed up. Some of his neighbors tacked theirs down as tonight's storms approached. You worry about yourselves and you worry about more damage. Tara Fowler lives a few houses down. Parts of her ceiling caved in after the last storm. I'm scared right now. Um, I've been having the panic attacks because of it, you know, being stuck in it and then the ceiling falling on us. But all they can do, hopefully the tarp works, <laughs> is hope winds like these stay away tonight. It's another day in the Midwest and it's just the story of my life this month. So we'll just deal with it. I mean, you know, Mother Nature and whatever happens, happens. We'll always be okay as long as we're safe. And of course, we're thinking about those people right now as the rain is really coming down. Hopefully those tarps are sealing off those roofs and keeping them dry. Some of those houses on that street were damaged so badly that a couple of the residents on the street actually have had to move out of their house uh, because their, their roofs were just completely gone. Reporting live in Excelsior Springs, Nathan Dickers, KCTV 5 News. Hope those tarps hold up. Nathan, thank you for that update. You